Red-coated Dracula goes to a little town named after Cheese to kill a vampire. Not only does he kill a vampire, but he also kills an innocent girl. Best girl. He drinks her blood and turns her into a vampire. She wakes up in an old mansion's basement and eventually has to sleep in a coffin. A butler who is definitely not a Nazi traitor gives her a big-ass gun. They kill the Bonnie and Clyde of satanic rituals and fight against a priest who really hates Protestants. Later, they get attacked by the Valentine brothers, the eldest of which is not Dio. After pretty much everyone is dead, they go to Rio de Janeiro where Alucard has one hell of a time fighting the police forces under the command of Tubal Kane Alhambra, a secret Nazi. Alucard makes it rain bodies and pikes people just like the old days. Later, when an aircraft carrier is taken over, he flies an SR-71 Blackbird into it and drinks Rip Van Winkle. But uh-oh, this was just a plot by the Nazis to draw him away while they drop a thousand vampires on London and start killing them. Alucard returns and becomes Dracula again and uses zombies to kill a lot of bad guys. Police girl also eats her boyfriend to become a real vampire and erases a tattooed lady's head with the wall. Alucard is drawn into a fight with the angry priest who, after being unable to kill him, takes out a nail and becomes a spaghetti monster, which Alucard kills by ripping out his meatball. Police girl fights Nazi Wolfman, who is a very good dog and gives her silver to kill him. Evil Nazi major is killed by Van Helsing, and Alucard accidentally eats a cat boy and dies for 30 years until he comes back to life as a partial cat boy. Meow. Oh yeah, his girlfriend was the Queen of England. Can't forget that.